Hello, everybody. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can revert back to a previous commit. Now, if you haven't been following along, this is about the third video in this Git series. And up until now, we have created a few separate commits over here, one with a small spelling issue. That's no problem in the commit message. Now, what we've done so far is we've created our working directory. We used Git init, and then we added these to the staging area. We committed them to a local repository. But what we now want to do is come right down here and go back in time. We want to use git checkout, and we want to actually check out a previous commit and put that into this working directory. And so let's see how we can do this. So we have these previous commits, and this is our first commit, and this is when we first created this file. And if we come right up here, we only have this comment in our code, and we added this in our second commit. And so let's pull up this right here and of course our git bash now what we can do is we can just use git checkout to go into something called a detached head state where we're just looking at our previous commit or where we were in that snapshot we're just looking at it so let's say git checkout and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this entire hash and so i'm going to do this now, in order to copy this in here, and I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to do Control Insert. And then if I bring it right down here, I need to do Shift Insert. I'm going to hit Enter. And now we're going to get this message. And it's going to give us some good information. And let's just see what it says. It says, you are in a detached head state. You can look around, make experimental changes, and commit them. And you can discard any commits you make in this state without impacting any branches by switching back to a branch. If you want to create a new branch to retain commits you create, you may do so now or later using dash C with the switch command. And then they give a little example or undo with git switch. Now, this is just advice. You can turn this off. Now, what we're able to do is we can say LS and this is our directory. Now, we are taking a snapshot of this one right here. We're going back and we're checking it out. And remember, we had two files in here previously and now we only have one. So it is showing us in our file path, as well as in Git, that there's only one file in there. And if we go into our Visual Studio code, this file doesn't even exist anymore. It's gone. And if we go to our first file, that code that was previously down here is not there anymore. So this one is deleted because it's not in that current Git path. And this one is reverted back to the code that we had only at the point or the snapshot of when we made that first commit. And so this is a very important concept to understand when you're using Git is we are looking at this snapshot. Now we looked around and you know we don't need to go back and change anything for that specific one. We actually wanna go back to this one. We can do that, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more than that. What we can do is we can say Git checkout, and then we have our master branch. And I'm just gonna say master in here. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And we've now come to our most recent commit in this branch. Now, this is our master branch, this is our main branch. I call it main and master because uh, GitHub calls it something different. Git kind of had that default of master, um, but ours was called master. And so we used uh, right here, git checkout master to come back to our most previous one. And so now if we look at our LS, now we have both of those files. This code is back to how it was. This code is now there. And so everything in the world is right. But let's say we want to go back and we want to make some changes. I don't recommend just going back and checking it out and making the changes right there. I actually recommend creating a new branch. Now let's say, uh, let's actually come down here. We'll do git log. Let's say we want to come back to uh, this second commit right here. So we had just updated this first file. We hadn't even added this text file in, but it had that code in there. Let's say we want to go back and we want to change some things, but we still want to keep some of this other information with this late latest file. So let's say we want to come back and we actually want to start at this right here. So this is our second commit. We just updated this first file with this code. That's all we added. This was our code from our second commit. But we want to add a little bit more, but we want to also save what we're currently working on. We're going to do something called a creating a separate branch. And a branch looks something like this. We have our master, and that's what we're working on right now. But you can create this branch where you can work parallel to your master branch, and then you can merge it back to your main work. 
At the same time, this is great for collaboration because someone else can also create a separate branch, work on that work, and they can merge it back. Now, in this lesson, I'm just going to show you how to create the branch and you can do work there. But in the next lesson, I'll show you how to create a branch, do some work over here, and then how you can merge it back into the master branch. Because that is how an actual workflow, when you're using Git or GitHub, that's an actual workflow within it. So I want to show you how to do that in the next lesson. So let's come in here. We're going to do Git checkout. But instead of specifying here's where we want to go, I'm going to first say dash B. So I'm creating a branch from this location, but we need to name it really quickly. So I'm going to call this branch for work. So that is the name of our branch. And now we need to specify and whoops, see, I accidentally uh, tried to use control C. Let's try this again. We'll do, uh, sorry, get checkout dash B. We'll call branch for work. I need to come up here and use control insert. And then I need to say shift insert. So now we're saying get checkout. So I'm checking this out. I'm creating the branch and naming it. And this is the one we're checking out. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And now you see something a little bit different. We've switched to a new branch that we just created. And then right over here, instead of master, it says branch for work. So this is our current branch that we are on. So now we can add files, we can come in here and change things. And if we want to, then we can merge it back to our main branch with all this new work that we've done. So in the next lesson, we're gonna see how we can add files to this branch and then merge them back into the main branch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next lesson.